Hey everyone, today I'm doing a spring makeup tutorial for you all and I'm really excited about this because it's the first one of the season. I wanted to incorporate some bright greens on the eyes and some gold and also some peach on the lips and on the cheeks. I believe I've done a video very similar to this, so I apologize if you've already seen this way back when. I think it was a couple years ago. But this is using some new products from Sigma Beauty, which I'm really excited about. And I have a 20% off coupon code that is only good for this month, so that's why I wanted to hurry up and get this up. This would have been great for St. Patrick's Day, but I missed out on that because I couldn't get it up soon enough. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm first starting out by applying the MAC Paint Pot and Painterly all over my lids. This is going to help prevent creasing and also prime my lids for shadows so they look more vibrant. Now I'm using the Sigma Single Shadow in Luna and applying it to the inner portion of my lid. I'm also applying a bit right underneath my brow bone. Next I'm taking this gorgeous green shadow from Sigma called Midori and applying it to the outer portion of my lids with the Sigma Eye Shading Brush. I'm also holding just an e.l.f. shadow shield underneath to prevent any fallout. Now I'm using the Sigma E30S pencil brush to apply more of the green shadow to my lower lash line just to connect it to the top. Next I'm using the shadow Topaz on a Sigma blending brush and running that all throughout my crease. After, I'm going to deepen the crease using this itty bitty Sigma blending brush, which is so cute, and I'm using that same shadow, I'm just going back over it to deepen up the crease some. Then I'm just touching up the green shadow with what's left over on my brush. Lastly, I'm just applying a matte skin tone shadow to my brow bone with a blending brush. Now for eyeliner, I'm using the Julep Win Pencil Matte Gel Eyeliner in Bronze Shimmer, and I wanted to go for more of a subtle liner since I was using brighter colors. Back to the topaz shadow, I'm applying a bit over top my eyeliner with the Sigma Flat Definer brush. I also added some more green shadow right underneath the wing. Now I'm curling my eyelashes with the Revlon Curved Eyelash Curler. And then I'm finishing it off with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. For blush, I'm using the e.l.f. Cream Blush Palette and a small stipple brush to apply the orangey peach color to my cheeks. Then I'm using the Sigma Loose Shimmer and Gilded on a large fluffy blending brush as a highlighter on the tops of my cheekbones and also on my temples. For lips, I'm using the Butter London Bloody Brilliant Lip Crayon in Trout Pout, and I love these because they're super moisturizing, they don't dry out my lips, and they also have a really nice color that stays on for a long time. I also went back to my blush palette and I picked up the pink color next to the peachy one and I just went back over it. I just wanted to match it to my lip color a little bit better, so I mixed the orange one and the pink one to get a really nice peach color. I also topped it off with a bit of the NYX Butter Gloss and Creme Brulee just to tone down the color a little bit. So that is it for my spring makeup tutorial. I hope you guys found this helpful and definitely let me know if it was easy for you or if it was too much. And if you're going to wear it out, I would definitely love to know. I feel like it's pretty wearable for being color, which I really like. So as always, all the products that I use will be linked on the blog post that goes with this video, which will be in the description box down below, as well as that coupon code and link to where you can score a great deal on Sigma Beauty products because I love them so much as well as their brushes. You guys know I use mostly all of their brushes. They're just great. Don't forget, I do still have my self-tanning giveaway going on where you can win a whole prize pack that comes with a body butter, a scrub, and also a self-tanner to get you ready for the spring and summertime. So I'll put the link for that giveaway down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye everyone. Hey everyone, today's video is going to be all about self-tanning in the springtime to get yourself ready for summer in spring clothes. This is also kind of like my winter tanning routine because